So far, so good. <clears throat> I think we should need some highlighting now. Let's see. Yes, we'll use necrotic flesh. Necrotic flesh is a, a warmer color, so to speak, but this is sufficiently disgusting and it is also greenish enough that uh, it can serve as our highlight here. It's uh, some sort of greenish gray. It's really, really yucky. And that is what we want. Actually, we'll take our mix of 50-50 um, periscopes and our base color and mix it in with our greenish necrotic flesh, yellowish crap, yes, perhaps a little more of the blue, and uh, we'll do some, um, not exactly highlighting, but uh, we'll give some greenish tones here and there, mainly to the flesh and the scales, sort of that um, rotten fish quality. That's a bit too dilute and not green enough. Yes. Oh, just going over the top of the scales here. little little spiky scales see it's not not too uh, noticeable it's subtle but it's uh, there it's sort of a tinting really that is uh, not quite a highlighting well, no, we, it's a bit of a highlighting, yes, but it's not just a highlighting. In case you're wondering, I'm not dry brushing. Not that I have anything against dry brush. It has its place, it has its uses. It's just that I'm not dry brushing. I'm using dilute paint, wet paint, and I'm actually only going over the parts that I want to paint. Nothing more. Even if it seems a bit fast, it's just because I'm actually used to painting that way, which means I'm going a little faster than most. Not to brag or anything, just uh, been doing this a long time, you know. Here, let's have um, the same treatment over those scales. underneath we don't really need to 
or perhaps just a tad, but discreetly. Just so perhaps the scales don't feel disparaged. Poor scales, I'm sure. They're really sensitive about that. And there's scales here as well. Well, um, the, that type of scales, I mean, the pointy ones. Oh, I've almost overstepped here. It would have been too bad. Now. Now. Our belly is, well, not, not mine, actually, but the creature's belly is white. Right. Then we should use white. Again, perhaps, perhaps not. I say we don't use pure white. I say we use white mixed in with the necrotic flesh. Because that'll be greener, that'll be better, that'll be more colorful. And that will be overall more disgusting and look more natural. Still the same. Fine brush. Some white. Some of the necrotic flesh that's on my palette here. And here we go. Have a sickly, sickly green. Sickly light green. That's almost like ivory with a tinge of blue. Or... Um, Perhaps a thrall, thrall flesh from Pravilia Press. That would be a, a nice color. Perhaps uh, mixed in with Menoth. Menoth white highlight. I'm highlighting now, edging the, the, the lip, the lower lip of our fishy. Here. Nothing to it. And now with very dilute paint, consistency of milk, transparency of broth, I will start the highlighting process of our belly and our, well, the, the, the white underside of our fish. Do the jowls. I think we'll have a step a little on the blue here, but uh, just so it could uh, enhance the relief of it all. There on the uh, pectoral, well, not really pectoral muscles, really. It's it's uh, it's moobs, really. Fish boobs. Fish male boobs. F moobs. I don't know. This looks about right. Oh, there's actually a. Some sort of, uh, I don't know if these are muscles really or simply fat or bits of skin that just go and just going old and I don't know. not content to have different, um, shall we say, beauty standards. The Ogdru uh, Rashar or Deep Ones really have uh, different morphologies and uh, they are immortal pretty much. Well, they live very, 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 for a very long time, like uh, 
seal accounts and uh, other weird and antediluvian animals according to the Mythos law that is quite unfair still apparently it stands to reason that their bellies as distended as old people's bellies let's see what needs highlighting here oh yes the, the hands a bit here let's not be afraid of a little contrast ah yes the interior of the thighs the groin area i guess of the of the fish but really nothing to Nothing to write home about, as you can see, <laughs> but, you know. Ah, yes, the bum bum. Perhaps with little dots. Well, that's quite enough. Uh, perhaps... Uh, inside this this hand no there's, there's really no need uh, perhaps on the inside of this elbow here just uh, just because underneath it doesn't doesn't need any any highlighting quite frankly because it's in the shadows now to blend our highlighting in I think we'll need to take some of our ash grey, that's our ash grey right here, and mix it in with the highlighting colour, which is green and white. Well, the green, the um, necrotic flesh and white. And that will provide a nice colour to blend in some parts of our highlighting. I think that's still needing a little grey there and uh, with a little bit of water I think that will do quite nicely perhaps here on the side uh, just just to blend things in really oh well do we really need to Yes, here. That way. Not not too bad. You know, I think we'll use this highlighting highlight color of white and, uh, and mostly white and green. Part white, part necrotic flesh. That is without the green without the gray to highlight here some more on top of our fishman because we're using dilute paint it's very easy to have a gradient here especially especially on such uh, small straightforward surface The brush is going a little awry at the moment. I'll still keep it. I should change it, but can't be bothered really. At uh, at home, you probably should paint the brush with the proper point, but mine hasn't, and. Uh, just sad. It is uh, not the highest quality of brush, I'm afraid. Still, it's reasonably adequate. 
I think we need a little more contrast on the face, so I think I will do a wash, a slight washes here and there, slight washes of the periscopes, pure periscopes, under the eyes, around the eyes rather. Gills, nose, scales, especially under here. Some sort of a little fish moustache, fish stache. there. I think we have a good gradient going. As another type of highlighting I will grab our base color which is the wolf gray and put some white in it to obtain uh, some sort of sky blue color here. Some sort of uh, overcast gray cerulean blue sort of thing like a lead sky if you will pretty much the same color as lead oxide only perhaps lighter and i will highlight the uh, fish flesh top of the muscles and that that sort of thing with that will provide a different contrast than that of the scales. Something perhaps called uh, that we that we need. Since the skull is slightly inferior on the on the muzzle. I will resort to doing little dots to simulate scales. So there, top of those fingers, I think it needs a little bit of highlighting, of course. Well, now, I don't know what to call them, whether it's toes or fingers, really. Look like toes, but look like as they could be as prehensile as as fingers. No, I think they're, they're toes really. They're webbed. I'll get some white and some necrotic flesh. 50-50 mix, and I'll do the little claws here to differentiate them from the rest slightly. You know, don't need anything. Apparently, they have four fingers and four toes. Back to highlighting here, perhaps with um, our white plus base color. It's white plus wolf gray on the fingers and perhaps the wrist here. Here along the, the arms and the wrinkly bits. There. I think that's sufficiently mottled and yet blended. Well, it's not really blended, is it? Hmm. Well, hmm. could be more blended, but then it is a scaly person. I'll use uh, perhaps a bit of the base color and a slight bit of periscopes, maybe a 50-50 mix of those two as a wash. 
here and there to blend things in. Only, only a glaze, really. Thank you.